it's very easy for everyone to work in silos, especially during the pandemic as well. Um, and I think a lot of um, university staff don't really kind of know what their student union does when it comes to the voice side and actually how much data resources or even kind of students they can easily mobilize in a short period of time. This this session is 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 not to kind of tell people how to engage with their student union or what 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 is useful, but just to help people who may have not really known what their issue is, uh, what the issue is as, as a university staff, and kind of just reach out, have those questions, have enough knowledge of how kind of issues generally work that they are not scared or worried to come and kind of approach that question. So my name is Ashley, um, Ashley Story Smith. Um, my pronouns they them, and I been working in student unions for around eight years now. So at the moment, I'm at Nottingham SU, uh, which is around 38 to 40,000 students. But my kind of first staff role in a student union was at Newman Student Union, which was two and a half thousand students. So I've done kind of the gamut from small and specialist to kind of large Russell group, which gives kind of a really interesting perspective to how everything kind of works. I think there's a lot that we can learn from, from small organisations. Um, around how they work and around how they cross collaborate and and work between departments. It's really interesting to see when we've actually collated it together as a student union, just even internally, how much information and how much data we have. Um, at a university I've worked at, but at a student union I worked at previously, um, we were looking through the advice data and we saw there was a trend around international students from certain countries um, not getting... Um, uh, mitigating circumstances from bereavement and uh, we investigated it through and we were able to find out that actually um that was because the policies that were written by the university were very eurocentric it was very much kind of you had to have a, uh, an order of service or a death certificate which those countries didn't offer um and with that data and with that information we worked with the university to help kind of change and adapt those processes so those students were able to get the support they needed and without that kind of trend work that we were able to do within uh, the advice service within the students' union, um, that issue would have probably never come up because it probably didn't affect a significant amount of students that would have gone through the issue or made complaints to the university or whatever. So um, I think there's just a lot of value in that collaboration that I think um, we can do much more of. We have similar aims and objectives. Sometimes because we are separate organisations, we forget that. And I think it's just opening up that conversation and giving um, university staff um, the confidence to do that reaching out. No matter if they are from a 40,000 student, students university or a 2,500 student university. <music> students unions, especially over the past 10 years, since kind of 2010 to 2020, have changed dramatically of what they do, who they employ. And, and I think there's kind of a, an update of knowledge there that I think that's going to be really important that we're going to cover. Really going to talk about kind of examples of collaboration, where that can happen from an academic um, side to a um, to a well-being side, to a social side. You can ask anything, how issues work, what do we do, anything like that. This is your chance. This is the safe space to do that. Starting from September, October, the next academic year, university staff and students unions who may have not worked as closely together um, for the past few years, can start that work now and can evolve that over the next 12 months and hopefully next year they, they can come back together and talk about how that's gone and then go even further and really kind of evolve this idea of how students unions and universities can better collaborate with each other.